All right, guys, we're back. What I did, I grabbed some of the sensors, some of the basic stuff, so that when we're scrolling through here, you guys can actually see it display a reading for you. Please keep in mind, I'm doing this for you guys as an in informative video, just to kind of help you if you just got this system, you're excited about it, and you don't know how to set up the basic stuff. This is what this video is for. Um, so, yeah, so what the, some of the first things that you're going to want to set is you're going to want to go in there and tell this maxi controller exactly which light you're working with. You're going to want to change, if you're in the U.S. market, you're going to want to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You're probably going to want to change it from uh, displaying a percentage to actually displaying watts. Um, and then this this maxi controller, you probably if you have the maxi, you probably have a basic um, a, a temp sensor and a humidity sensor. Here's a humidity sensor. Right in the center right there, there's a screw. And that allows you to calibrate your humidity sensor. Uh, it's important that you definitely calibrate the humidity sensor. Uh, if your temp sensor is off, go ahead and calibrate that. And your, um, your, your plant temperature camera, you absolutely need to calibrate that. That should be the same as your ambient temperature. So if you've confirmed that your temperature sensor is correct, by comparing it to the hygrometer that you have in your space right now, uh, then you can calibrate your plant um, temperature camera. Uh, it, it should be the same, especially if you don't have any lights up yet and it's just kind of like a, a bare environment. They should be the same um, because if it's off, then obviously you're going to get false readings and you don't want that, especially if the system's designed to dim your lights in the event that you're plants uh, stop transpiring and they get hot uh, and, and, and basically they think that your plants are stressed out. So we want to make sure that um, all of your accessories or all of your sensors are properly calibrated. Now you can calibrate the humidity sensor and the temp sensor and the CO2 and all of this stuff internally. But like I mentioned, if your humidity sensor is off by more than 20 degrees, then you're gonna have to put a little, a little tweaker in there or a little tiny screwdriver and manually adjust it there. And then you can also adjust it in here. Anytime you see offset in the Maxi controller, that basically means uh, manually calibrate. So if you see offset in there, that's what it's talking about. So, um, and let's dive in here. If I press the modus or the off button right here, it's asking me if I want my lights to be permanently off. So you can quickly control all of your lights in your room just by just by hitting this. And if I want my lights on, I would just hit it again and they're gonna turn on. Um, if you want your lights to be, now in, okay, let me just get. Now we're really going to dive into all of the features in later videos, but this is kind of just to get you started. I'm going to show you some of the more important things that you're going to want to know um, right when you get your when you get your room up or when you get this maxi and you want to throw everything up. You're going to definitely want to know how to um, how to set this controller um, to communicate to your lights the way that you want it to. So we'll hit this modus button. And it says, do you want your lights to be permanently off? That's what that's saying. Or if you want it to be permanently on. If you're in veg and you just want it to be on 24 hours a day, then you would leave it on the on. Now, if you want it to be controlled by your timer, obviously there's the field right there by timer. And then if you were to... It's okay. So if you, so if you want to control all of your lights by timer, then you would just... Actually, let's back up a step. See this right here? Lights controlled by countdown. That's a feature for, for people that want to um, shorten their uh, harvest time. Uh, you would use this. 
And basically what it is, is you have an option to say, I want my lights to turn on for 10 hours, and then I want them to turn off for 10 hours. And what that does effectively is that changes what time your lights will turn on and off every day. It's not going to turn on at the same exact time. That would have been the feature uh, earlier that said lights controlled by timer. So that's what countdown is. Countdown is if you want, and the two options are 10 hours, 10 and 10, or 11 and 11. And then this is a slave inverter. If you want, you can hook up another maxi controller to basically work off of all the settings that you've set up right here. Like if you want it in a different room and to have identical um, settings, you, that's, that's what you would do. Oh, uh, the slave inverter. So, all right, so let me back up. All right, slave inverter. If you have the option to plug in a, a completely different maxi controller and it will work off of all the settings that you've uh, set right here, all the parameters, except it'll be inverted. So the lights will be on the opposite cycle. And then this would be a, an exact copy. So if the lights were the same, so if both rooms or both, both environments, the lights came on at the same time and turned off at the same time, and you just had a slave, then that would be the setting that you would wanna use. And then that's it. So let's get out of there. Now, if you hit escape button, this first field right here has all, everything to do with your CO2. So if you wanna calibrate your CO2, if you wanna change how many parts per million you have in your, in your, um, in your room, you would just hit up and down. That's how you control that. Hit escape again, and we're gonna go into fan and temperature. This is how you can control the parameters for your fan and your temperature. Again, you hit set if you want to go deeper into those settings, but we're gonna keep going. This field is really important. Your ambient temperature reading, relative humidity. You have a delta temperature, and if you scroll down, a plant temperature, and then your VPD. VPD. We're gonna dive into these in a later video, but it, it's important to know that that's how you get to that if you wanna know the, condi the basic conditions of your room. You hit escape a couple times. So let's hit it again. And here we go. You're used to this on your standard hygrometers. If you leave your facility for however much time and you come back, you want to know what was the highest my temp was? What was the lowest? What was the highest my humidity was? Um, so basically, you can access all of that information from this screen. And then if you wanted to uh, reset it, you would hit set. And scroll down hit set obviously it's showing us nothing because it's a brand new setup um, so let's escape and then let's hit escape again and this is a field right here that will let you know if you've had any events or alarms let's say your heat went way out of whack it's gonna log that for you as an event it's gonna tell you what time it happened or exactly what temperature or what the event was but you have to um, you have to set it you have to actually tell it set event log alarm so let's escape all right so so this controller you only have the option it, for it to work in military time a lot of people ask if you can set it uh, for 12 and 12 um, that's the only the only thing that you can't really change is that military time but you'll get used to it Okay, now let's dive into this side. If you want to calibrate your humidity sensor, you just scroll on the escape button until right here, relative humidity, hit set. It says plant temperature versus ambient temperature, start dim off. Now what this is saying is when my plant temperature is greater than my ambient temperature, I want it to start dimming. Right now it's set to off, but I want that on. So I will hit set. And then you basically just tell it at which point do you want it to start dimming. So when my plant temperature is greater than my ambient temperature by 10 degrees Fahrenheit, I want it to start dimming. You hit set. So then let's go. 
relative humidity offset. And this is where you would want to be if you want to calibrate your relative humidity sensor. So you hit set, and then you just calibrate it by however many degrees that it's off. And you would just compare it to uh, a hygrometer in your, in your room that you trust. Okay. And anything else in this board? Okay. And then this set button. And this is where you would set all the parameters for your fans. So if you rely on your fans to deal with temperature, when your temperatures get up too out of control, you would um, hook up your fans to an aux box that gets plugged in right here at the top. You set the parameters, and when it recognizes that the conditions are beyond the parameters that you set, it will send a signal to activate the aux box. As you can see, I got this aux box right here. And then that will power up your fans. So there's a lot of control with this maxi controller. I want to escape out of there. So what you can do with this is this you can set parameters so that this maxi controller allows you to dim your lights 30% if your ambient temperature goes beyond a set point. So you can tell it Hey, Maxi Controller, if my environment ever reaches 80% or 80 degrees, excuse me, I want you to dim my lights by 30% because I don't want my room to reach 80 degrees. And then you can say, if it goes beyond 80 degrees, if it reaches 85, let's say, I want you to dim 50%. And then if it reaches 90, I want you to just shut my lights off completely. Um, and that's all regulated by your temperature sensor alone. Um, you can also set those type of specific parameters for your plant temperature camera. So it does it with the temperature sensor. It also does it with the plant temperature camera. How you would do it, scroll through escape. You wanted to set those parameters you hit set scroll up your time obviously if you want to set your time that's where you want to be set the date this is important so that when it tells you oh you had an alarm or you know if you want to know what 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 was the minimum and maximum of whatever conditions in your room it'll tell you exactly what time it happened and on what day it happened um, so it's important to set those and then this is, this is where you would set, like, you want your lights to come on and off at specific times. Countdown, we were talking about that earlier. If you want to shorten the, the, your entire harvest time, you can, you can have your lights be controlled by a specific countdown. Rise and fall, this is that sunset feature. If you, wanna, if you don't want your lights to just come on all at once, if you want it to take its time, gradually come up, you could set those parameters here. And all of these features, if you see one that you want to dive into, you just hit set. And then you tell it, 10 minutes. I want it to take 10 minutes for my lights to come up completely. And then when it turns off, I also want 10 minutes. You hit set, and there, and there it is. It logs it. All right, now this is, this is the temperature. Um, this is where you set the parameters for your temperature sensor. It says temp limits. So it says low high and shut down the low so if my temperature reaches 86 it's going to dim 30 percent the high if my temperature reaches 89 my lights are going to dim 50 percent and then the shutoff point would be 93 i'm sorry i keep saying percent but i mean degrees and temperature offset 
Remember we said whenever you see offset, that means calibrate. So if you wanted to, if your temperature sensor was off, you'd hit set and then you would just adjust accordingly. So I want to escape out of there. Scroll up. Do you see how that works? You hit escape. You go back into the set menu. Once you see time, you scroll up until you see the field that you're looking for. And I think that's it. Oh, half force. So basically, if you, let's say you did a foliar feeding and you want your lights to be working at half capacity, you can set it on half force uh, for a certain amount of time. And then, you know, once those water droplets have dissipated, the lights will automatically go back to its normal intensity. So set half force. Um, we don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, this feature, if you lost power, do you want your lights to just automatically come back on regardless of what time of day it is? Or do you want them to stay off because you feel like that would be more beneficial to your particular um, harvest? That's a feature that you can control. And then this LCD backlight. If you don't want that light, like say during the night time or you know when, when everything's sleeping, if you don't want that LED backlight on, you can, um, you can set it so that it only turns on when you actually press a button. And again, it's set to get into that field and then I'll go down. Dual rooms. If you had two rooms you were controlling with one maxi, you can set it right there. And the output displayed in watts, which we talked about. So there it is. So there's a bunch of settings that you can control in your set button. Press it. There's also, you can calibrate and access some settings in the escape button um, you keep hit, hitting escape until you found the field highs and low any alarms back to the main menu and then this off or modus button is essentially just you know if you wanted to quickly control your lights you walked in and you're like I want my lights off right now you just hit that button once hit set so that's, there it is, guys. That's just a basic overview. I really wanted to get some information out to you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a little bit of guidance. Um, and this is Global Garden bringing you this information. Uh, we're here. We're going to continue to make videos. We're going to dive deeper into the settings. And we'll talk specifically about each of, um, of your sensors. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll go through the whole system. But we really wanted to get this out to you. Um, just to help you and also know that we're here to support you so if you are um, watching this video and you can't figure out something uh, give us a call um, we're here to help you guys out and, you know and follow us we're on Instagram uh, it's a good way to reach out to us and keep us in the loop with with the progress of your facility and let us know if there's anything that we can do to help all right this is Ty Global Garden Dimlux talk to you soon